Hello lovelies, I hope you are feeling happy and excited about the start of the A chemistry exams over half term. This paper jumps straight in with all the multiple choice questions, paper one. So what we've done for you is made a skills lab where we go through how to answer the multiple choice questions in roughly one word per minute and not spend five minutes doing calculations where only get one mark, as well as hours and hours of videos on the skills that you need for the tricky maths or quantitative chemistry. Now, last year, some of the questions we wrote in our predictive papers were very similar to ones that came up in the exam, and we're really, really proud of the papers that we've written for this year. Now, don't forget, this week we're running an exam board-specific revision sessions looking at things like organic chemistry and quantitative chemistry. Everything that I've talked about so far is included in our boot camps and our master classes, along with our predictive papers and the walkthroughs of some of the papers where we show you what to write to show to the examiner how much you know about it chemistry. Now, we strongly suggest looking at our predictions for paper walkthroughs for paper one and paper three before the paper one exam, as working out exactly which topic um, is going to come up in which paper is harder than working out exactly what the topics could be. Please remember to revise absolutely everything. We are not actually examiners, we have not seen the paper, but here is a list of topics that we'd like you to start your revision off with. So looking at electrons and isotopes, the arrangement and drawing of the diagrams, test tube reactions of ions, complex ions, so the colours, the equations, the shapes, melting points in terms of structure and bonding, born harbour cycles are a brilliant topic for this paper, as well as enthalpy changes and all the calculations involved in that. Atom economy, we'd like you to look at rate constant, working out the units, electrical chemical cells, and then strong and weak acids and all the calculations around pH. That is quite a lot for you to be going on with over half term, but every single thing I've mentioned comes up in our predictive papers, and we've walked you through how to answer those questions, how to approach the really tricky calculations in the papers really, really calmly and really, really carefully. Good luck, and we hear you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.